Hey guys, Karyx15 with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe YSP Watch Zero Custom Bezel from Yokai Watch Jam, Yokai Y Academy. This is a bezel that lets you change your YSP watch into the version used by Yokai Hero Ninetail. It also includes a mode change medal and Ninetail's transformation medal. So, let's get started. First up, a look at our two Yokai Y medals. First of them is the Mode Change Metal. This is a uniquely colored yellow with the top half being clear and the bottom half being clear green. See, it has this kind of arrow, circular arrow pattern going to it with YSP Watch in the top half and YSP Watch Zero in the bottom half. And shows it changing from this half with Kengo Benimaru to this half with QB. This is a 5 star ultimate rare metal, although in this case rarity doesn't really matter because this is exclusive to this set. And the reason why this needs a metal to change modes is because that function is not in the custom bezel. And that's something that they probably did so that you couldn't just hack it by pressing some button or something and not have to buy this in order to actually get the YSP Watch Zero sound. Which may seem a bit greedy, but it's also smart because it actually encourages people to go out and buy the set. And for the second one, we have the transmission medal for Yokai Hero Ninetail. It was this purple fox themed hero, based on the Yokai QB. And, like with the other transmission medals, is a 4 star ultra rare medal. So for him, all his medals have clear purple for the bottom half. Next we have the Zero Custom Bezel itself. So this is for all intents and purposes just a piece of plastic with some painted stickers, but this is what changes the design from one to the other. So for this it's got an octagonal shape with some molded on screws. A nice lime green color, along with a bit of white as well, and these stickers depicting various clocks. Like with the normal bezel, when turned this direction, the three arrows make a Y shape. Now change that out. It's very simple. All you need to do is take the normal bezel and pull it off of the Y to watch, and then place on the custom bezel. And here we have the YSP Watch Zero. And this does use z the Zero Kanji like in the Yokai Watch Type Zero. And so this still does rotate in the same ways. Just like that. Next, we can use our two metals with the YSP Watch Zero. First of all, we need to fully change it to the YSP Watch Zero using the mode change metal. So, we'll insert it into here. And get that sound to indicate that it's now changed into the YSP Watch Zero. And this isn't just a one and done thing, this is actually smart enough to remember when it's set to this mode. Because if you switch it off then back on, it'll still be set as the YSP Watch Zero. And so now we can use Ninetales Transformation Metal. And there we have the transformation. And it should be noted that the transformation for Ninetale is not locked to the YSP watch, but 
using this mode is what gets you the accurate standby sounds, as that's what mainly changes between the YSP Watch and YSP Watch Zero. And of course, to change it back to the normal YSP Watch, you just use the metal again. And getting to that, there actually are a couple of details I want to touch on in terms of the metals. The first is that you'll notice that the design of the pins looks the same whether you have it right side up or upside down. And this means you can actually put them in backwards and this will work. And the main thing there is because of the way this works. Basically, you just have a little button in here. I'm going to try to get something long enough to press. So this is a tiny micro switch there that the pins on the Y's, Y metals actually hit. And then that activates the scanner for the YSP watch. So if I say have a metal on top and then press that button, it works because this is close enough to the scanner for it to read. And finally, I'll demonstrate to you all what sounds the other types of metals make in the YSP Watch Zero, including a little bit of a preview for the second set of Yokai Y metals. That being these first two metals. So, first off, we have a summoning metal, this one being Izuna, which is Ninetales' partner Yokai. And this one has a much more Japanese kind of style to it, considering it says Japanese words like Eiketz Henge, which means hero change, and Shokan, which means summon. Then we have a command mill, this one being one of Ninetales special attacks, Murasaki no Mai, or Purple Dance. Then an item medal. <laughs> then a mysterious medal. And finally, a deluxe medal. And there we go. So overall, I like that Bonnet is continuing the recent trend of giving you options to change around the way your yokai watch looks and works. And this is a pretty simple change wherein you just change out the bezels and then use a metal to change the modes. And it definitely does give you a different feel. You can use any of the metals in either watch and you get the different standby sounds to go along with them. Plus, it gives you a guaranteed way to get the nine tail transformation metal. So if that's a yokai hero you're very fond of, you get both the accurate customized bezel for the watch as well as the melt to go along with it. So overall, this is a nice cheap set that's well worth the pickup if you have a YSP watch. Next time to go along with this, I'll be opening up a box of Yokai Y medals 
from the second set, A gets Henge. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.